Hello Sagittarius, I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome, new subscribers. Welcome back to those of you who've been here already. Um, I am doing these in the order of most viewed. And um, yeah, that's it. I don't know what I was trying to say, but anyhow. Sagittarius, we're going to pray and we're going to jump right into your reading. Okay, let's see what's going on, what's breaking in your energy. So, Spirit, Guardian Angel, Divine Energy, Universal Energy, what do you have for Sagittarius for the end of June? Only allow truth, honesty, love, and acceptance within this space. As above, so below. Okay, Sagittarius. Now. Um, just so you're aware, I pull a card to get the energies. We're going to go into a spread of what's happening. Partner, environment, you, the outcome for the month. And then we're going to dig deep for those of you who want more information that's coming after that. Um, and then oracle cards, okay? So you're going to be with me for a minute. Buckle up. Okay. So your card is the mountain. The mountain is... This is all about working with spirit because you can't see what's going to happen, Sagittarius, okay? You feel blocked, okay? You feel blocked and confused. And I feel like you're trying to understand as much as you can, looking at the situation as a whole to kind of put something together. I see you like doing a puzzle. So you're like trying to put the bigger picture together and to understand. But... I feel like it's very complicated. Very, very complicated, okay? Spirit Sagittarius. It just feels like it's bigger than you, Sagittarius. There's a breakup, guys. A breakup, a separation, not seeing eye to eye with someone that you're in a relationship with or that you care about. <clears throat> the thing is, I feel like you're coming out of that trapped energy. That's very interesting. You're coming out of this energy of feeling the need to fix it almost. Feeling the need to be the one. You're coming out of that. You know that you have the tools to create what it is that you want or manifest the things that you want. I feel very much like you're coming into your power of who you are with this breakup. It's I don't know why I feel like you're seeing it in a different way. You're seeing things through a different lens. Yeah, you're definitely not the one giving your all of your emotions to this individual for sure. Okay. I do feel like this person is wandering back in and I feel the need to say wandering, okay? Because I don't feel like there is something super stable here. They're just kind of like, eh, let's see what's going on over here, okay? This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that you're dealing with. I also see a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Everyone's on the table at this point, okay? There's definitely a need to find some balance here okay I do feel like this person is coming in to find their own balance okay I don't feel like they're giving it their all though I don't and I do feel like you're taking your time and you're not doing anything crazy I wanted to clarify that yep It's interesting because I feel like there's an offer. You're giving them what they're giving you, Sagittarius. So if they're giving you half-ass energy, you're giving them half-ass energy right back. Okay? There may have been a problem with balance in the past. And you want to see if that's going to continue to be something of the future. Yeah, you're definitely in your power. You may be pregnant. The Empress came up, okay? Um, 
it's interesting because I feel like you're filling your own cups. Meaning you're making yourself you're making yourself happy on your own because there's a problem with give and take here. Okay? There's a problem. You're fully aware of that and that's why you're filling your own cups in this situation. Let's see what's going on with your partner. Uh, heavy energy on a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. They were in something that didn't make them happy, Sagittarius, okay? And they're reliving their past, okay, to see what was going on. It's like they have good memories with you, and they want to see if something is here or not, okay? Um, I don't feel like they feel like it is. Okay, which is interesting. Um, it's, it's, it's mainly because you're giving back to them what they're giving to you. Okay, that's mainly what the issue is. Yeah, they're doing a lot of thinking and soul searching about what it is that they want. And that's the only reason why they're around. I don't see a gigantic love offer coming in. Okay, I feel like they're closing up loose ends in their life. Or trying to. Like trying to lay ground somewhere or see if ground can be laid. Yeah, because I see an end of a cycle. Okay, yeah. I don't feel like there is any stability here with this person because they're not putting forth any effort. It's like they're just coming in to see, but I don't see a lot of effort coming into this per with this person. They're not, yeah, no real love offers here. Okay, only dreams, dreams, dreams. <laughs> They're coming in just to see. They're coming in to test the water. And let's see where you are. Where is Sagittarius at the end of June? Where is Sagittarius at the end of June? Where are their emotions and feelings about what's going on, Spirit? There could be at one time you had a real connection with this person and the love just wasn't there. Unrequited, they could have cheated or something of that nature, okay? Um, it could have been their family issues as well. You may have children with this person. Your intuition is telling you that you need to start something somewhere else. That you need to figure out where your passions lie. I don't feel like it's with this person. I do feel like you have your guard up and you're defending yourself. You know what exactly it is that you want. It's that Ace of Wands. And that's why you're holding it in your hand. Okay? I feel like this person was religion for you. And what I mean is this was a person that you were with for a long time. Or that you felt like you were going to be with. That this was going to be your person. You know what I'm saying? Um, the thing is though, it's time to make a change away from this person. If this is a marriage, you are definitely thinking about ending it for real. Okay? Like for real yeah there's too much worry and anxiety and I this energy coming from you is like I don't want that yep you don't want it you made a decision it's too much worry it's too much it's too much going on here you're taking a risk you're taking a risk I feel like you're gonna bow out Sagittarius so let's go on at the end of the month for Sagittarius End of the month for Sagittarius. End of the month for Sagittarius, Spirit. End of the month for Sagittarius. You're making a choice to go find love elsewhere. Real love. There is a connection with this person. They could have been a soulmate. But I feel like you're making a choice to go somewhere else. Okay? There's not enough love and stability here. I do feel like there was a need to try to work on things. You may... I do feel like there's... <laughs> You're like, we can be friends, you know what I'm saying? But that's not what you're looking for in a relationship. So I feel like it's either not going to go anywhere, it's not going to grow, okay? You're definitely coming out of your head about this situation. You're not fighting for it anymore. You know, you're not, you know, there was a point where I feel like you did everything that you needed to do to fight for this person, but it's like... You're not feeling it, Sagittarius. Yeah, you're coming out of confusion with this person or a dream. There goes my nose again. A dream that you had with this person and you're letting go of this negative energy in your life. Okay. Wow, I'm proud of you, Sagittarius. Let this fool go. Let this fool go. Okay, so now we're going to go into 
a deeper reading. This dives deeper into the situation. For those of you who want to purchase a reading, this would be considered the basic reading. Spirit for Sagittarius. Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius? End of June. Sagittarius, you're moving really, things are going really slow within this connection, especially when it comes to stability, but I feel like, I feel like you're on a new journey with yourself about what you want in your immediate energy and what you want around you. I feel like at once you were confused about that. You're confused because you had a family or a, a long relationship with this person. I'm jumping the gun, but one more card for Sagittarius. One more card for Sagittarius. There it is. On the bottom of the deck you have the two of wands. You're looking out into your future Sagittarius. You know you want something different. Okay. There's definitely a lot of change going on within you, within the situation. The wheels are turning. What you once thought was law is not law anymore. Okay. The universe is seeing to that. Okay. Because it's time for you to see out. You're making a choice to see out. I see. Okay. In the center of the reading, you have the Page of Pentacles. Um, it's interesting because I don't feel like this is an offer. I feel like this is you going down a new path or learning about, you know, stability and what you want for your own stability, okay? Because here you are. So you have this new idea of what it is that you want to do that's different and you're in that active energy, which means that you're taking it out. It's like I have an idea that I want to start a business, for example. Now I'm in the mode or the energy of starting this business and anything that blocks that is not within that energy. And that's where I feel like you are right now. Like I said, this person, you or or you know, you have a goal to invest in yourself and what you want for your future okay i do feel like you have been trying to move a relationship forward because it's just what you do it feels like this is just what we do this is how we work on things because you may have had a family with this person but there's confusion here and there are secrets um, maybe even lies, okay? And as you dig deeper into the situation, Sagittarius, you understand that you want more, you deserve more, there should be more here. And that's what you're going to work on. I feel like <clears throat> you're working on your career, you're working on yourself, you're working on the things that you want. There's tons of pentacles on this table, okay? And you're definitely working on yourself, okay? This idea that you want to birth you're now giving energy to that and not giving energy to this relationship. I feel like I feel like you're stepping back from this relationship because <laughs> low key this relationship made you stronger. Okay? Um it made you see yourself in a different way. I just want to point out, you went from the knight to the page to strength, okay? So you went from working on pushing this, and this is what I we just do, to uh, let's try to start this over, to I need to tame this situation because it's not healthy, okay? That's just something that I want to point out to you. There could be a Capricorn involved here with all these pentacles and this king of pentacles. And this is what the confusion is about, okay? If there is a third party situation. If there is, I don't really see threes on this table, okay? But 
that confusion brought in this new energy for you about your relationship because either this person came in to make you feel like you deserve more okay or this person came into your life to make you know that you deserve more because your partner is messing with this other person and um, creating some sort of partnership or friendship with them that is not of your highest good okay yeah I feel like it's causing you to become a stronger person you're giving more to you as a person and who you are. You're giving more to your strength and your courage and, and cutting out things that don't fit. Yeah. On the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups in reverse fell out. Nope. <laughs> That's what I see. Nope. You're not happy here. This is not your happiness. It, it, it's it's almost like this relationship is declining the more that you try this the more that you get into it it starts to steadily decline okay so knight of pentacles please clarify the knight of pentacles for me spirit yeah i do feel like there was a reunion and you tried to work on things i do i feel like you're you it's a it's a going back and forth thing like this is just what we do but something is missing here and you know that it's missing and you just keep coming back and it just keeps dwindling down and down more and more ten of pentacles ten of pentacles yeah i do like again i feel like you tried to make it work for the family you did okay you tried to stop it from falling apart for the family but there's not enough give and take here there's not enough love there's not enough exchange in emotion Okay. You were definitely trapped in this cycle of trying to work things out, but I do see you stepping out of it. Okay. It's like this is just what we do. I keep feeling that. I keep feeling like this is just what we do. But you realize that this is not just what you do. You don't have to do this. Okay. The moon in reverse. Or right. see how that came out? I didn't even say that. I didn't even mean to say that, but you're definitely come <laughs> well there it is you're definitely coming out of yourself okay i feel like you're gonna communicate your feelings and what it is that you want this has been a time in these readings for a lot of communication a lot of people expressing themselves taking risks okay this is you taking a risk opening up there are secrets you may have secrets they have secrets and you're like we need to talk about them we need to talk about them i need to know what this is about or i need to know what's happening here Okay, you're not afraid. You're not going to be afraid. At this point, I feel like you're losing attachment to this person. You know how sometimes you meet someone and you're afraid to talk to them because you're scared with what they're going to say or it's new. But at this point, I feel like you just don't care and you have nothing to lose. Okay, on the page of pentacles, you have the hangman, the king of cups, and the five of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Um, I do feel like they're going to try to offer you something and it's it's even less this time than what it usually is. And the fact that they're doing this changes your perspective and gets your emotions in check. It's like, I don't, it's this energy of, I don't really want it like this. This is not really what I envisioned for myself. I don't think that it's fair and I'm going to continue on with my life. I'm going to continue on with these emotions that I felt and tame them. What is the strength card, spirit? Strength card. Yeah, you're going to give this a rest. You're going to give this a rest. I feel like you need to heal from this. It's, it's too much stuff going on. Yeah, this isn't what you want. You feel like you made a bad decision. Cut it. You know what I'm saying? Six of Pentacles. They're telling me this person is, is trying to give. They're trying to cre create balance because they feel like they're losing it. They're losing you. They're losing it. Okay? It's like they need to gain some sort of control or have something mentally. But the truth is out. The truth is out that you just are not in it i feel like with this queen of rods in reverse you're putting up that wall of confidence like 
who is you? Do you know who I am? You know what I mean to this person? King of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, you're walking away because I feel like there's communication with someone else here, either for you or for this other person. That's what's getting you to walk away. There's no balance here. Uh, you don't even feel like making time for this. I'm even feeling this energy like I want to stop talking about this because that's how you feel about it by the end of the month. It's like, whatever. <laughs> so, Page of Cups here. Um, yeah. Someone may be giving you a, a love offer. Someone else may be, okay, because you're walking away. Or you're giving your love to yourself, building yourself. Yeah, you're building yourself because there was uh, not enough here for you. Okay, your Ace of Wands was not here. And I do feel like this other person is going to go somewhere else. Yeah, they're going somewhere else and starting communication somewhere else to find some balance. I feel like they're just dancing around. Yeah, they're dancing around because they're having a hard time and they're looking for a way out of that hard time. Okay. Okay. All right, my beautiful Sagittarius, Sagittarii. Okay. We're going to do animal spirits first for you, Sagittarius. I'm getting this message of you're not going to let anybody stand in your way. Yep. Lay a solid foundation. That's what you're attempting to do. Sixes are about victory. Okay. You're finding victory not only within yourself but in your situation. Okay. I feel like the beaver cuts things out. The beaver chops things up, okay? I feel like instead of looking at the bigger picture, like your family or what your, um, they're saying laws, like what it is that you feel like you have to do, okay? You're cutting that into smaller pieces and seeing how it fits or if it fits and trying to find better foundations for yourself. Um, you do have the pig spirit, use your mind wisely. You're smart. You're coming into yourself. You're coming into yourself and you're using your smarts that you once laid behind you for another reason. But I feel like you're coming into view of yourself now. Yeah. It's like you're thinking about yourself and what you truly need now. Not just about how everyone else will feel or how things are supposed to be, okay? Finances and career, you're definitely focusing on yourself. Remember all those pentacles, Sagittarius? Starting work. I feel like your career life is going to be amazing. I'm going to pull a career card because I feel like I need to, okay? Romantic feeling, someone's coming in to explore their feelings, like I said with you. Be careful of that. Let go of control issues, okay? Let go of needing to rebuild this when there's no need to rebuild it. But I don't feel like you're going to have a problem with it. That's just for a few of you who will. The situation will unfold naturally. You don't even have to be mean, I feel like. I feel like it just will, okay? Too many cards okay your first card is love um, it talks about seeing the good in all things and all situations this may not be exactly what you want it to be but it's like the love of spirit is surrounding you within this situation because 
You need to know within the conflict and everything that's happening that love is surrounding you because I see it. It's like I see all this happening, but then there's peace around it. It's like you just have to dissipate this or, or let it take its toll and then everything will be fine. Love, infuse love, heart um, in your soul. Okay, gratitude. Gratitude. <laughs> be thankful for everything that has happened because it's here to show you something. It's here to. It's here to help you see. You know, um, it's that mental energy that you're using, like I said, to chop things up and see the smaller pieces of the situation. It's like I'm so thankful that this happened now. I'm so thankful that I see this now so I didn't have to get too involved or I didn't have to get myself hurt within a situation, okay? So like I promised, here's your career cards and they came flying out. Wow. Okay, you have books. You have justice. You have strength, okay? Yeah, um, the more that you go into your career, the more that you focus on yourself, you're going to find strength within yourself. It's going to make you stronger the more and more and more you get involved in it, okay? It's it's bringing justice and fairness within your, your love life and within yourself, okay? The stronger you get, the more that you stand up for yourself, the more that you do everything that you need to do within your career because right now your love and your career life is connected that there will be fairness okay some of you need to study some of you need to read books I do feel like um, there's gonna be quotes that come to you or that you read somewhere that really triggers you for some of you okay for some of you I feel like there's a book that you have been reading that is going to give you a new insight but there's intellect um, you're going to be using a lot of things that you read in books that you don't even remember that you read or that you understood. Okay. Writings. They're showing me writings. There's writings. Um, for some of you, it could be social media writings on the wall um, that they are showing you that help you move forward. Okay. Um, there's lots of messages about books. But your love life and your career is connected so where you find justice in both of these you'll find justice within your life okay just know that you have to continue on and be strong that's why that strength card was there because like I said the mountain may be there but you can do it okay you're smart enough all right so thank you so much for listening Sagittarius if you want a private reading I'll be more than happy to do that for you check the description box below please like share and subscribe and I'm on Instagram find me there we can be friends buddies you know what I'm saying uh, <laughs> I love you so much I'll see you next month bye